watching Global Daily Mirror News Alert. The European Parliament's Subcommittee on Human Rights, consisting of six members, are scheduled to visit the Philippines this week. According to the Department of Foreign Affairs, the Philippines has accepted the request of the visit set on Wednesday to Friday, February 22 to 24. The visit is part of the country's and the EU's open and regular engagement on human rights. The visit of the subcommittee will cover courtesy calls with Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin de Mulla and Trade Secretary Alfredo Pascual, as well as with their counterparts in the Senate and the House of Representatives to exchange views on best practices and legislation. Senator Jingoy Estrada filed a resolution expressing to oppose the resumption of the International Criminal Court's investigation into alleged crimes against humanity which happened during the administration of former President Rodrigo Duterte. In his Senate Resolution No. 492 filed on Monday, Estrada called the resumption of the probe disrespectful as it undermines the Philippines' judicial system. Estrada also cited that on November 10, 2021, the Philippine government had asked the ICC to defer investigations and proceedings on the country's drug war. Members of the House of Representatives, led by former President and Senior Deputy Speaker Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, had first filed a resolution defending former President Rodrigo Duterte against any ICC proceedings. The ICC authorized the reopening of the drug war in play last January 2023. Senator Bongo and former President Rodrigo Duterte met with members of the religious group Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or Mormons on Monday, February 20 at a restaurant in Paranaque City. Duterte receives a Davao Philippines Temple painting from Elder David Bednar, Elder Stephen Bangerter, Elder Carlos Revillo, and Heidi Fajardo, which is currently under construction in the hometown of the senator and the former president. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has 30,000 congregations across 160 countries around the world. The low-pressure area continues to affect parts of Luzon. According to Pagasa, the LPA was last located at 340 kilometers east-northeast of Casiguran, Aurora or 345 kilometers east of Togigaraw City, Cagayan. Mainland Cagayan, Isabela, Aurora, and Quezon will have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms due to the LPA. Meanwhile, the northeast monsoon will bring cloudy skies with rains over Batanes and Babuyan Islands. Ilocos region and Cordillera region will have partly cloudy to at times cloudy skies with light rains due to the northeast monsoon. Metro Manila and the rest of the country will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or localized thunderstorms due to the LPA. Parokya ni Edgar Memorabilia auction for Gab Shiki sold for 150,000 pesos. Shito Miranda Memorabilia, which was the school polo he wore in the Bagsaka music video, according to his Instagram post, was sold for 150,000 pesos, all for Parokya ni Edgar's guitarist Gab Shiki's medical expenses. A fundraising event called Resbak Para Kay Gab with top OPM performers is also scheduled on March 4. Meanwhile, K-pop girl group IVE is coming to the Philippines. The concert is part of the Asian leg of their The Prom Queens concert tour. The concert ticket sale date for the Philippine show has not yet been made public. And that's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Ice Martinez. Good day.